today I'm going to share my story on how I found all my passions. Hopefully, from all these stories, you can find your own passion as well. Passion number one is music or slash DJ or slash EDM. Wait, I'm going to drink some water because my mouth is like super dry and I don't want to be spitting in my mic. So, six years ago, my friend introduced me to this EDM song. I think it's San Francisco. San Francisco. If you're I really love it and from there, I would listen to EDM songs all the time in the car, while driving, while studying. I've been listening to EDM like for longest time and then one day, Hardwell introduced Dairo as a new DJ. With, in my opinion, world's biggest upcoming DJ right here, Dairo! From there, I was thinking, Hmm, I've been listening to this EDM like for the longest time. Maybe I should just pursue it as seriously. So although it started out very slow, but I learned up this software called FL Studio. And from there, fast forward to right now, I actually have like six tracks already. Yeah, I know one track per year, not that great, but I have six tracks. Do you have even one track? Passion number two is... Photography. Now, weird thing about photography, it just came like this, just zoom, without me like really putting that conscious effort of like saying, I want to do photography. So how it came about is, I opened my Instagram account for my DJ and I started taking pictures like just for fun and I learned some stuff through YouTube and every time I see a video, I'll be inspired to like take pictures and post them on Instagram. But Two years ago, my company got me this uh, phone called Google Pixel and with me going to cafes and all this kind of stuff, I really took my photography skills up a notch where I would go there and I would just feel like taking pictures of beautiful cafes, all this kind of stuff and also portrait and then I started editing them like even more seriously using Snapseed and also Lightroom just to adjust the colours and the funny thing is, so there was this one day on like two separate occasions where different friends and different places, they tell me that my photos are like professional level. From there, I'm like, hmm, this is a sign. But yeah, that is how I got into photography. It's not really a conscious hobby that I'm pursuing. It just so happened that I keep on doing it and I've got, gotten good at it. So yeah, those are my two passions, which is music and also photography. Now with this presents a conflict. Not many of y'all know, but y'all only have 24 hours in a day. And apart from like doing your passion, you have to do other stuff as well, like work, your personal life, your relationships, your friends. All these kind of things also need time. And Ultimately, what I'm trying to say is you can only work on one passion and I also recently read this book called One Thing which like says that you should only pursue one thing where your mind is more focused but this topic, this conflict I will dive into it more deeply in the next video this is going to be like a two parts video but long story short I want to choose like one passion and I would like to ask your opinion about it so yeah, that is all for this video. Hopefully through my stories, you can like actually find your passion and start working on it. How I hope that I know my passions when I, when I was studying. When I was studying, I have like three months semester break, but all I did was like play games on computers, watch videos all day. I don't know what the heck was I doing with my life. How I wish I could just turn back time and have three months guilt-free time to work on my passion. So hopefully you can find your passion and also work on it as well. Until the next video, where we we'll talk about the conflict between choosing one passion over the other, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.
fair warning, the word passion will be used like crazy amount of times throughout this video. 